Let's celebrate the choir. Let's celebrate the choir. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the choir. Let's celebrate the choir. Choir, God bless you. Choir, God bless you. You will continue to sing and sing and sing and sing finally when we get there to heaven. Turn to your next neighbor and tell him or her welcome to the night of power. You are not you are not doing it right. Oh she talk with confidence. So for boya. Tell him or her. So for welcome to so the night of power. See I shall act when it gets to the word power, I want you to put some more authority in it. Welcome to the night of power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God will touch you. It will touch you for good. Yo, for what consider it? The power of God will touch you for good. The power of God will touch you for good. Tonight, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. This is the night of power. Yes. The God of power. Exceeding power. Uncommon power. Lord, tonight we have seen you already. We are seeing your manifestation. Let your power visit us tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No one will leave here tonight without a touch of your power Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. thank you glorious father thank you father for in jesus precious name we pray Amen. give me a better amen you may be seated let me appreciate the almighty god for this great privilege to stand before you. It's not by power, it's not by might. It is by His grace. And let me also, with due humility, appreciate the general overseer, the prophet. The angel, Angeli. the leader, Adari. the mentor, and it's your tower. the one who goes ahead of us, and it's your the overseer of this mission, none other than Pastor, Doctor, Elijah, Elijah. Oludele. Oludele. Abina. Abina. I thought you would be standing up to appreciate him. Can I hear a big amen in the house? And finally, not the la last, not the least, the leaders, my appreciation to you, and for all of you there, can you wave to me? Wave, 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 wave. Wave, if you are seeing me, wave. May God bless you. Say better, amen. Amen. Tonight, the subject is very sweet. 
The topic is very great. The God of power. The God of power. The God of power. Oh my God. Say it. Say it after me. The God of power. We tell him or Lord. There are certain gods that are powerless. I want Olorun to come back to the Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. There are powerless gods. Won ji awon Olorun ti ko lagbara. Tonight. The god Shubala Shalayi with original power. To ni oju lo wa agbara. To ni oju lo wa agbara. Authentic power. Agbara ti ko ni agbara. It is right here with us. O wa ni e pa lo wa. It is right here with us. O wa ni e pa lo wa. The psalmist says. O ni psalm wi pe once. Eka God has spoken. Ni Olorun soro. He spoke once. O so le eka twice have I heard. E meji ni emi po. That Power belong to God. Get your Lord over. Power belong to God. Agbara Lord, get your Lord over. And I say, Moses, we pay. Power belong to our God. Agbara Lord, get your Lord over. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. We will say Satan power, counterfeit power. If that I'm calling one or in Ibani, I'm also we pray. I got a satani, I got a yepere. Now let me say something to you. Yakin Pion, call you. When we say God of power, if that I'm also pray or Lord, I got a there are certain implications that go with it. I want to pay attention to it. There are powers. I want and there are powers. I want to see what we do. And so when we say the God of power, we are saying that this our God. He has unlimited power. Is somebody hearing me? He has unlimited power. You cannot know the extents, the limits of his power. The power is great. It's mighty. It has no limit. Unlimited power. When Angel Gabriel went to Mary, he said to Mary, You are going to conceive and bear a child. And gave all the details. Mary said, Maria, we pay. Knowing fully, Mary was knowing about signs. But Angel Gabriel was talking about the God who has no limit in power. Mary said, I know no man. Maria, we pay every How can this be? How is it going to be possible? And the angel said to Mary, He said to God, Only your neighbor with God, for nothing, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whether you are a new any man or not. As far as this God is concerned. The moment he has spoken. It shall come to pass. And I don't know who I'm addressing tonight. No matter the length. The breadth. Of your problem tonight. But you will keep your own anger. Talk to us. Oh, Lord, you saw on that. Imagine you were there. You saw on that. Talk to us. And Jeremiah said, Jeremiah, see, we pay. Jeremiah chapter 32. Verse 17 and 27. He said, Oh God, you, you are, have created the heavens and the earth with your outstretched hand. He asked a rhetorical question Is there anything too hard for you? That question, if you ask me in examination, I will have 120 over 100. Mane 120 over 100. Because I know the answer. Do you know the answer? You know the answer. What is the answer? Nothing. 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 Nothing is too hard. For our God. And Gabriel has said. Angel, the Gabriel, you pay. God. This God of power. There is nothing. Nothing. Nothing too hard for him. There is something you may have thought is too hard. It's going to be too hard. Oh, God cannot do this. I give you an answer. He will do it. I give you an answer. He will do it. He will do it. Ask me when. When is he going to do it? When is he going to do it? Tonight. Tonight. Every problem that came with you tonight. To this Hosam. By the mandate of heaven. It will not follow you back. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard. Imagine, imagine, Mobape. That power belongs to God. I bet I get your own. What is the meaning of power belong to God? Kilo to Mosi, I bet I get your own. Number two. Ikeji. It says. Oh, we pay. It says. Oh, we pay. That God is not limited by distance. Oh, to Mosi, we pay. E a fo tabi ibi to jina ko jayi diwa fo un tolo nou le she. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want, did you hear what I said? Yeah, I got to move. He is not limited by distance. O no jiji ki she i diwa fo a bara o loro. If the problem is in America. Be sure or no, but when you're America. As we speak tonight. But I shen so or la shen like. There will be a solution. I said there will be a solution. No limitation in distance. Some people say, hey, before you take possession of the land, you must enter the land and walk around it. When God is involved, you can send the word. Am I communicating? The centurion said to Jesus, He said to Jesus, I am a man under authority. If you send the word, to my house, see me. My daughter will be here. Whatever the problem is tonight, 
The word will hit that problem. There will be a solution. There is no limitation of distance. No limitation of weather. No limitation of time. No limitation of time. Has no limitation. This God of power. He has no limitation. Wherever, wherever, whatever, whatever the nature of the matter, God, God will do it. Hey, I said God will do it. Only believe. He was shot in that ball. Two reasons I've given to you. When they say, when they say, God of power. God of power. Revelation chapter 19. And verse 16. He calls God. He describes God. He says, the God with omnipotent power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the God called omnipotent power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is no such power like the power of God. You know there are, there are three words: omni, omnipresence, omniscience, okay. and omnipotent. Say, but where I this God that we worship, His power is exceeding. Yes. Then, great power. The Bible says omnipotent. It means He can do this, do this, do that. Do all, all of them at the same time. Le kan soso o le se ti e ko se temi ko se ti won Olorun ko se gbogbo re lapapo le kan soso. He's not going to say. So go go ti mo so. Give me time. I'm doing this one. When I finish, uh, I will attend to you. Mo me la koko kan je ki nkan ko pari ti e le ti to. He's going to attend to all of us. Bo bo wa pada pata ni yo fo wa kan. La koko kan na. All of this. That is our God. The God we worship. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. Day and night. He is using his omnipotent power. To attend to us. Tonight, everybody said tonight. He will attend to me. Your power, I didn't hear you. Yo, bow on till now. Yo, bow on till now. Yo, bam the party. I didn't hear you. Yo, bow on till now. Now let me say something. Taking some go for this God of power. On Lord, on Allah, God are you? Everything created, on Boboti Ada, obeys Him. Lord, for us, see your holy, see our share. Are you listening to me? Yo, God, everything. Everything obeys him. Um, Bobo, long suffer, Ben, is here, Sherry. Is it the son? He asked the son to stay. I think you go to know. He said, Son, wait. On your turn until my people destroy their enemies. I went near me, your people, I want that one. And the son obeyed. And Jesus was in the ship. He was going somewhere. And they said there was a terrible storm. 
Jesus will not hear you. Oh, see what you are doing. Man, all those people. Mark chapter four and verse forty-one. Mark chapter four and verse forty-one. You will mark what he can't say. Can he? And they woke Jesus up. What did Jesus do? And they woke up. What did he do? And he looked at the wind. What's the word? He laughed at the wind. Oh, Fiji, he said, "Peace, only be still." Dakeje, peace, Fiji, be still. Dakeje, and the disciples said, "I want more like you." What, 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 what sort of a human being? Iruwe ni yawo leyi. What kind of power is this? Iruwa bara yawo leyi. And I stand under authority. Thank you. I am standing okay. on that authority. For do Lord, I'm not a chair. On this altar, Lord, if I pay you, every stone, Papa, that is troubling your house, don't buy it. 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 Don't when I say this one, I want you, I meant to be the loudest. Every storm troubling the church of God, the gospel faith mission, gospel mission international. I declare this moment. Peace be still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, number four. The Kenny. It means that God's power. You know, you know, we sing a song sometimes. I call, I'm calling, calling back on. In Matthew chapter twenty-eight. I think verse 18. When Jesus came out, he said, "All power." In heaven, Lord, and on earth, belongs to me. for me. And some people say, "Ah, I will come back." If all power belongs to Him, which one is the devil using to cause confusion in the world? That is no power. That's why we sing Satan power, powerless power. Powerless powerless power. Powerless power is no power. Powerless power is no power. Powerless power is no power. But however, when we say the God of power, we are saying and we pray that the power of God is superior. Oh, you go is superior. Oh, God, you go go is better. Oh, that is Jula is greater. Oh, Toby Jula is exceedingly greater. Oh, Toby Pupa Jula. Tell your neighbor. Stop any kajira. I carry superior power. Moke I bara to gajulani. When you carry the power of God, to bakpe I bara alone. What are you carrying? Say it loud. Jacking Bodada. Superior power. I bara to do a barano. You are carrying superior power. Umpe I bara lani. One of the the pastors that was leading prayers in the afternoon. O kola la wajo la unto dari wanu adu ani oso. He said before before he he contacted. He oto shi ala bakpadi. This superior power, the God of power. Said before he contacted him, before he knew about this power, he was giving us a testimony in the afternoon. He said when he wants to go to his village, he will go in the night. Say so he will go in the night. He will look left, your word, right, your words. He will sneak in. Your your word, they want. Say, don't tell anybody that I'm around. Emma, so far, you can't even move there. But when he got this power, you born in Bado, she allow Papa to abara you. He said, when he is going back, he will look at the nights, the rains. 
Late when people are believing he is sleeping. Most of us did that before. Am I right or wrong? When they say, when are you going? Uh, but uh, I don't really know. I don't know. Maybe let's see. Maybe next week. When the man leaves, you hurriedly pack your things into your bag and climb Okada uh, and run away. He said, but when he contracted this power, he will go home in the afternoon. He will get there in the, in the afternoon. He said, ah, Mama, this, is he there? Mama, this, is he there? He will announce to the people that he is around. When are you going back? Next tomorrow. And he will dare those miserable witches and wizards to come and die by attempting to block him. When you carry this power, you are superior. Oh, you are superior. Oh, you are You carry superior power. You carry superior Satanic power has no authority over you. That's why Jesus, in the book of Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, what did he say? He said, Behold, I give unto you holy. Do you know you cannot give what you don't have? Do you know that? Because he has the power. He said, Lord, I give unto you superior power. What are you going to do with it? He said, don't tread on it. Those, can somebody tread on those, stand up and tread on those power. Tread, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. All those power. Weak power. Let them perish in the name of Jesus. He said, and nothing, nothing shall by any means And I declare today to everyone that is standing and standing over satanic power. Nothing, nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sit down. Yes. When you carry superior power, nothing can happen to you. Because the Bible says, He that is in you is what? Is what? Is what? Is what? Is greater. Is what? Is greater. Is greater. Is greater. what is he talking about? Power. Is greater. Is greater. Is greater. And this year, Lord, do you? Anyone that makes any useless attempt on you, the fire of God will destroy that person. Because the Bible says, Let no man trouble me. Because I carry on my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. The mark of authority. No one can trouble you. Because you are an embodiment of power. Hello. Hello, sir. You see, this power of God. There are certain things that we need to do to bring them down. Am I communicating? I want to give you some of them. Because, you know, God has power. 
But you need to bring the power to work for you. I've given you when we said God of power have illustrated some of the meaning of that statement to you. But how do you bring this power down so that when you are walking, there are some of the things you already know. But I want to give you some emphasis on them again. Are you with me? Hello. Hello, sir. Is somebody with me? If you are with me, say yeah. Number one. I've call it the force of prayer. Hi. A believer's prayer. A believer's prayer. Is loaded with power. Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? I want you to know because when you leave this place, the, the book of James, the book of James, chapter 5 and verse 16. He says the, the earnest prayer of a believer. What does he say? He says it has great power. I'm reading the Amplified Bible. The, the King James says effective fervent prayer of a righteous availed hand but you know even though king james is king james we need to break them down sometimes am i, am I, am I communicating am i talking to somebody it says the earnest prayer of a righteous man he says he has great power and produces wonderful results. Oh. It produces what? Wonderful oh. results. It carries what? Great power. I say, I had, um, I spoke, I don't know how to put this. I spoke with a witch. You know what a witch is? You know what a witch is? Don't make, a, don't make friends with a witch. Oh. I spoke with a witch. And I asked him, what can dilute your power? He lo le so agbara yi di o to ba nje. Do you know what answer he gave to me? Nje mo i down to for me. You know? Nje mo. He told me the prayer of a Christian. Oni adura oni babo. So when I read that portion to you, I was not just kidding. Ni pa ti mo ka e se bi be liye fun oyin, yi so ro re rara. So I now ask him a second question. I said, these people you have been attacking left, right, and center. I want to take you come on. You lot what you Don't they pray? He said their prayer because of their life. Only I do that want you monitor It's not strong. So when they pray. He said, we will arrest the prayer. And throw it away. And attack the person. I said, wow. So, I asked him. But why don't you attack me? Why don't you attack me? 
Are you are you wondering why I ask him the question? He said to me, Oh, for me. When I want to attack you, and you pray, your prayer is very hot. If I get near it, I will be burnt. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when I'm telling you that the prayer of a believer has power even the kingdom of darkness recognizes it. and he gave me two a carnal believer when you pray they arrest it and begin to do you what they want to do but that will not be your portion but a real believer when he prays it moves like a jet fighter the wicked man cannot touch it it carries what tremendous what power you know Christianity we bother about Oh, the king of Persia stopped the prayer, the answer of Daniel. But we need to also bother how many of our prayers go up. Whatever happens to those prayers, as we turn around things tonight there will be access to all your prayers know which will disrupt your prayer is somebody hearing what I'm saying the believer's prayer carries what Tremendous. Let me tell you something. The devil does not fear you because you are a believer. But if you are a praying believer, you will be an enemy to the devil. Are you hearing me? You know, when they kill gems, is it gems? No. They kill gems. And the king was, so, okay, who is next? They said, who is next? They said, Peter. Bring him, bring him, bring him. And the disciples discovered the source of power. And they hit the prayer. What's it? Tell them what? What tell them what? What tell them what? What happened? You know, Jared. The rest is history. Koko Yoku. As we pray tonight, by the unction of the Holy Spirit, every limitation around you, oh boy, you want to walk out with that? Out to walk out with Jesus Christ. Yes. Say another big amen. Let me tell you something about prayer. Time will fail me. I want to challenge you to pray. See, a, 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 a man who doesn't pray is a powerless Christian. Christianity you know, when I read that portion in the Bible, and the portion sank into me, hmm. let me read it for you. Before I pray, before we pray, see, verse 17. Listen to me. James 5, 17. 
He says, Elijah was a human being like us. Have you been challenged before by that person of the Bible? He said, he was a human being like us. Elijah. Elijah. Elijah was a human being like us and he accessed the source of power which is the prayer of a believer and what happened he said there was no rain for how long three and a half years a man like you and me now, When I read that portion of the Bible, Elijah, he just woke up. A human being like me, he recognized the source of power. And no rain came. And after three and a half years, he went back again and said, Let the heavens open. Your prayer will produce results. Oh, I said your prayer will produce results. Let me move fast because I am working with time. Number two, the force of the word of God. Yes. The force that goes with the word of God. Eh? Are you with me? Hello, are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? There's now something more than gold. There's something more than gold. It's the word of God in the hearts of men. It is something more than gold. More than gold. More than gold. Something more than gold. What is it? It's the word of God in the hearts of men. It is something more than gold. Listen to me. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12, and you know it. He said, the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than a two-edged sword. Piercing asunder. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the spirit and soul and of the joints and moral. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Something more than gold. The word of God is powerful. Yes. Yes, sir. Isaiah 55 and verse 11 it says, The word of God cannot go forth and come back like It's a big source of power. God's power runs through the word of God. If you have the faith in the word of God, you know, when we say the word of God is powerful, don't do like we used to do when we were very young people. You know, when we are told that the word of God is powerful, we say, oh, young, young people, we carry the Bible and put under the pillow and sleep. It doesn't go like that. The Bible says, the word is near to your what? Only your heart and, and, and your mouth. Not this thing. See? See, if, you know, you know, the Bible goes, the word of God, the Christianity, the Bible, everything goes by principles. The word is where? 
is near where your heart oh, and where else you know. Know. and Joshua 1 8 says the word of the Lord shall not be what shall not depart from where your mouth and what are you going to do with it you will meditate it day and night two things two things that produces result in the word of God believe in the heart and do what speak it with your mouth that is how the word goes I think 2 Corinthians 4.13 says we have this same spirit of what? of faith what do we do? we believe yeah, we and we do what? And and we speak. Speak. Don't miss the formula. Don't miss the formula. Don't miss the formula. Don't the formula. Don't miss the you miss the formula. you miss the answer. Believe in the heart. And do what? And do what? Shout it. What do you do next? You speak it speak it out. He that is in me. He that is in me. And it don't be no me. It's greater than he that is oh, in the world. I can do all things. Through what? Christ who strengthened me. From with God. Nothing shall be impossible. impossible. No weapon. Fashion against me. me. Shall prosper. Hallelujah. Am I communicating? Are you hearing me? When you start, you know, Christians lack power because they say the opposite of the word of God. I mean, I, I am, I'm just taking that exam. I know I won't pass. Then you come to me, pastor, pray for me. I, I said you have made your decision, go. You see, in the spirit world, nobody recognizes joke. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. There's no joke. Say I was joking. No joke. If you want to joke, joke with what the word says. Because the word carries power. Immediately you release it into the air, into the spirit world. It starts manifesting. And as we release the word of God tonight, every mountain before you that will become a plan. I said there will become a plan. Choir, there will become a plan. Every mountain. Every mountain. The next one. I call it the force of anointing. Force of anointing. Anointing carries the power. By the way, anointing means empowerment. If English language, those who studied English. Anointing means what? Empowerment. When we were young, you get born again. You get born again. Oh dear to be. Then you pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Do, do I have a witness in the house? So, the pastor will say, announcement. After church service, those who are waiting for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, let them stay Behind. Because the baptism of the Holy Spirit was the baptism of power. Hello. Hello, sir. But today, 
I don't know. No, ma. Some people said they are born again today. They just say, say after me. I want to ask I, Emma, which I, I uh, God forgive my sin. I am born again. Put in that be born again. Jesus' name. They Amen. finish that. They carry you to another room. What you see they say, say anything you like. That will be the anointing of the Holy Same moment, same day. You are not even sure whether you are born again. They carry you they say they are administering the, the baptism of the... We didn't used to do it that way. Uh, you know, Hello, sir. We live in the age of computer. Maybe there is a spiritual computer that will immediately <laughs> baptize you. I don't know. But I still prefer my own system. I don't quarrel with your own system. The anointing of the Holy Spirit empowers you. And Jesus said to them, he asked of the one and verse 8, he said, wait in Jerusalem. For you will receive what? Shout it loud. You will receive what? Power. When what happens to you? After the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Tonight, as you walk out of this place, you will be flowing in power. Oh, I didn't hear you. You are moving with power. Because the Holy Spirit would baptize you afresh. And you will become a new man. What's it here that Am I communicating? That power that comes from anointing. It turns weak people to be strong people. Isaiah 61. Isaiah Ori Gota. Please let's read that one. Isaiah chapter 61, you know the passage very well. What does it say? You know we. He says what? He said, The Spirit of the Lord God is where? He's upon me. Because the Lord had done what? He anointed me to preach great tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the of the prison door to them that are bound. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Every prison door boy, that has been locked against you by the anointing that is flowing here, the dynamite of God shatter the prison door in the name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody hearing me? Somebody hearing me? It goes on and on and on. Then what else do I do? Anointing. If royal empowerment. And last not the least. At it's okay. It's okay. You know what? There are many other other things. I want me to see what there. But I want to say here that the force of fellowship. The force of fellowship. What we are doing here produces power. Are you hearing me? When somebody says, don't go to church, don't listen to him. Because there are certain dimensions of spiritual release. Hear me. Hear me. That there are certain dimensions of spiritual release. I want a me come back. You pay the me come back. only come. only when we are like this. Nibati abakura joko bi. Am I talking to people? She mumba yisoro bi. Are you hearing what I'm saying? She mumba. There is an atmosphere. Ah, ojo ojo. That comes upon the environment of this nature. Tio wasi iru ipe joko bi. 
and many things begin to happen. And I believe sincerely that it will happen tonight. I say I say it will happen tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now let me get to a few things that we're going to do. I just can see. I won't. So I won't cut it. Bashi. Given you the dimensions of God's power. Lori Oshuwa at Baraloro. The platform on which it works. On our both in share or the top and share. All of them are not exhaustive, but I'm running, running. I'm running. But when we meet together like this. I'm running. But when we meet together like this. And I want you to pay attention to me very well. I want you to pay attention to me. When we meet like this, in fellowship, there are things that happen. You know, we don't just, when people say go to church, go to Christian meeting, it is not for fun. One of the things that happen in a meeting like this is that there is what we call an encounter. Everybody shout encounter. Say it loud. Encounter is not like a, 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 a miracle that expires. When you encounter God, it remains with you permanently. And may you encounter God tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to me. I said, may you encounter God tonight. When you get to the point of an encounter, when you get to the point of an encounter, something happens in your life and it will transform your whole life. In the Bible, Jacob had an encounter. That was an encounter. After that encounter, after that encounter, Jacob became a new person. Jacob May God encounter you today. May you encounter God today. When you encounter God, the story of your life becomes a fresh. May God rewrite the story of your life. Tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give me a better amen. Number two. In meetings like this, there is what we call regeneration. People are born again. When you dare to be, you see. These days, we don't know who is a Christian and who is not a Christian. Membership in a church doesn't make you a Christian. Jesus said, except a man be born again. This is what the power of God does. As a matter of fact, it's the most important miracle. When you talk about power of God and you are not born again, there is, it can happen. You are not born again. You are not sure whether you will go to heaven. I ask I was preaching to, to some people. I asked them a question. Asked them a question. I said, can we eliminate corruption in Nigeria? Nigeria. 
Hello? Hello, sir. I ask a question. Can we eliminate corruption in Nigeria? Say, You know the answer they gave to me? Do you know? Answer now. Do you know? They said to me, What we for me? Thou knowest. They said, Thou knowest. Because we don't know. We don't know. And this corruption is between Christian and unbeliever. When is this corruption? Nobody knows religion again. Tonight, and tonight, God will change your life. Wherever you are, if you are here in this building, and there is somebody you have in your heart, in this same building. Hi. Uh -huh. What he did to me. It's only when we get to heaven. That we will settle it. There, you will not go to heaven. You will settle it in hell. But tonight. There is power to set you free. I said there is power to set you free. The power that comes from God can make a sinner to become a saint. Number three. Is it number three? No, yeah. Number three. The power of God has the capacity to set people free. Only Yes. It can deliver you from every bondage. Yes. Then Isaiah 10 and verse 27. It says, What does it say? You know, we he said, on that day, on which day? I want to hear now. On which day? The burden will be taken off. Every burden that came with you here. By the reason of the anointing. I set you free from it. In the name of Jesus. And he says. The yoke. Some people say the yoke shall be broken. No. No. The yoke shall be what? Shall be destroyed. The power is such that the anointing set you free. And in this year of liberty, your freedom is guaranteed. Yes. 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 yes, because of my time, God's power can restore what you lost. Yes, Joel chapter 2, the way Joel is, and verse 25. It said, and I will do what? Restore. Who is talking? Oh Who is talking? Who is talking? And I will restore. And if you are here, you know, you know what restoration means? means God says, I will restore the lost year. I want to. If you were to have two children by now, one, 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 one two, two years ago, another one this year, and the God of restoration visits you rather than you having one. You will have double. 
I didn't hear you. you. Quiet, I said you will have how many? Only one Double. page. Yes. Somebody, somebody missed for a long time. And when the God of Restoration met him, he had, she had four. How many did she have? Four. If you were not promoted before, you are Promotion will be double. So, if you doubt me, go and ask one man in Esther called Mordecai. So, Baba, Lobby Mordecai. Are you listening to me? So, Bobby. God can double the years that you have lost. There is nothing this God cannot do. And I don't know as I'm talking to you now. There are things that has been bothering your mind. This God of power. Will bring an end to that problem. Yo, if you are crazy, my boy, Damona, shall we be upstanding? Ejeka did you do Bobo? Some people have not heard me. I said, stand up. You still want to he hear? Did you did do. They tell about he do I have two prayers to pray. Moni adura meji paoga. Listen to me. Peti se me. Listen to me. You are here. Oh, Wanibi. Your prayer is weak. Because you are not born again. And you want to be born again. Don't 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 waste time. Raise your hand up. Put, yes, put it on your chest. I want to be born again. Put your hand on your chest. Yes. Everybody, you want to be born again. Put oh. your hand on your chest. Oh, you you want, want your prayer yare. to be fast. Oh, yare. Oh, yes. oh, those that have put their hands on their chest, walk towards me. Oh, walala, what up? Run, 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 yare. run, run, run. Come, 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 those who say, just put your hand like that on your chest and oh, keep coming. Oh, she's your water, sir. Keep yeah, coming to me. Ma po wa, ma po wa, ma po wa. Come, 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 come. Ma po, kia, 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 kia. Yes, I want to oh, run. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Ma po wa. Your hand is on your chest. You want to be born again. Oh, fair dear to be. Come out here. Ma cha de po wa si. Your prayer is weak. That's why Satan is doing whatever he likes with you. Le juji fa ye re tatakuta ma po. Yes. I want to get Jesus Christ. Walk down towards me. Walk down towards me. Stand there, stand there, stand there. Yes, any other person. Yes. I want to give my life to Christ. Yes. Make it fast. 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 If you are coming, please make it fast. 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 The devil will not torment you again. Yes, yes. Stand there. Close your eyes and begin to speak to God. Tell God, take over my life. I want to make it quickly. I'm running against time. I'm running against time. Yes. yes. Tell God, I want you to take over my life. This is the biggest miracle we're going to get. Every Every miracle will be subordinated to this. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Mama, carry them where? And pray with them. Evangelist, okay, go there. Now, now, the next one. Hello. Hello, sir. I am not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. 
I want you to pray one prayer. My time is limited. Let me tell you something. You could have a veil covering you. Every good thing that comes to you passes by you. And until the veil is destroyed. I don't want anybody to sit down. Please stand. Are you tired? If I am standing, why are you people sitting? You said, until the veil is destroyed, your blessing cannot locate you. But as you pray, please don't pray for me, pray for yourself. Any veil that is covering me, taking away my miracles, catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Are you ready? Let me hear you shout the name of Jesus three times. One, two, three. Then everybody will look at No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. You know. It's like you are just working from sleep. Say, yeah. Yeah. No. How many times? Three times. Three times. That's how you are going to shout it. I want you to test it. When I say one, two, three, I want you to shout from the top of your voice. One, two, three, go. Oruko Jesu. One. Loruko Jesu. Two. Loruko Jesu. Three. Stop there. Eduro. Stop there. You have done well. Etiyedada. Now you are going to shout the name of Jesus three times. Wa pari oruko Jesu eni emeta. Then you will pray. Wa wa badura. Any veil that is covering me. Bobo ibodu te adi ne ibe. Make my miracles to pass by me. Yo deki she ya ruko bara. Be not sorry. And when you pray that prayer, everything that has eluded you in time past, God will bring them to you. When I say one, two, three, you shout the name of Jesus three times, and you begin to pray that prayer. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.